Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is what is the probability that all three children in a family, meaning in a family with three children, will be of the same gender. And uh, as usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem we have to know how to use two statistical rules. The first one is the product rule and the second one is the sum rule. So in order to meet requirements of this problem uh, there are two answers are possible that uh, three children can be of the same gender all three of them can be girls or second variant all three of them can be boys. So, what is the probability that the first child would be a girl and probability is one half? What is the probability that second child would be a girl? Once again, probability would be one half. And what is the probability that third child would be a girl? And once again, we have only two choices, girl or boy. So, equal chances, so one half. In reality, per every 49 girls, 51 boys are born, but in order to simplify this problem, we assume that uh, frequency of boys and girls are the same. So chances are the same, one half. And uh, when we are asked about uh, to find um, probability of two or more independent events to happen simultaneously and it doesn't mean that uh, all three girls have to be uh, born at the same time. But uh, when we consider a family, we uh, consider that this family has three girls and uh, each event it was independent. So in this case, uh, in order to find a probability of such an event, we have to use a product rule. So we have to multiply all this independent probabilities. And the answer would be 1 8 is the probability of such an event. And the same rules applies to uh, three boys. Every time a uh, family would have a child, uh, probability that this is going to be a boy would be 1 half. So once again, here we have three independent probabilities that should happen in uh, this family simultaneously and uh, that means that we have to use a product rule and the answer would be also 1 8. So uh, probability that family would have all three girls is the same as probability that this family would have all three boys. And when we have two mutually uh, exclusive uh, probabilities we have to add them. This is uh, some rule. Because uh, this family or, that has three children cannot have simultaneously three girls and three boys. This is mutually exclusive um, events where the family can have three girls or three boys. We have to use a sum rule. So we have to add one eighth probability that all three children would be girls and one eighth probability that all three children would be boys. And the answer here would be one fourth or 0 0.25 or 25 percent. So all these answers are the same. And uh, once again, when uh, you have uh, independent events that have to happen simultaneously we use a product rule and uh, when we have uh, two mutually exclusive events we have to use uh, some rule. Just knowing these two rules you can solve many many genetics problems so this is very important to uh, understand them and be able to use them. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. 
Goodbye.